G'day viewers, well today I'm going to try and pop these electron guns. We already did one on this tube, which I plugged into my little fish or pipe or generator. And burnt the filament in the guns out, in that gun, I should say. That's one gun in there, one gun and one gun. And there's only Samsung CRTs, so... Have a bit of fun with them. I think you got to look on the gun itself, in the inside there. And trace back where those little connections go. And you got to look carefully where those, um connections go to these main pins here. So I'll plug this electron gun in and we'll see if we can I start slowly first. If I had a high voltage you would have um powered it up and you would have seen the dot on the screen burnt in from the phosphor. Okay well that pin's not it. Let's try this pin. That one's not it. Okay a bit of trial and error here. I've got to find which one it is. Okay it's actually this pin. These two, that one didn't go back. So it's these two pins here. There we go. Cool, eh? If I turn it fast, should they pop? There we go, I just blew the gun. That's it. I popped the, uh, the electron gun. Look carefully. I don't know where it actually opened circuit, but I can't see where it actually burnt out. Must be in the gun itself, I popped it. So, I want a shitty microwave. I'm not using that one, that microwave's too good. Hopefully, I get a really, really crappy one I don't care about. Put these in it when I finish with them. This is a red gun. If you peel this tape off here, Again, be very careful with CRT because you've got a high vacuum inside here, and this is obviously the weakest part. Um, trace it back, so we've got this pin. And I've got another one going to, if I can see, it's this one. So these two here are bent, are the ones we've got to plug into. I've got more guns over there anyway, so either way. Have a little shorting out there. That short circuit. There we go, start slowly. It popped. Open circuit. There you go, all you need is this uh, fish on park or generator. I'll suck a T40 by power point, point power outlet on it, or general power outlet. I can test um, those little motors up there with different frequencies from this. And yeah, power cord off that other TV I'd be used as an oscilloscope. It's a scrap, so yeah, that's all you need. And it'd be safe, because this thing here, spinning it with a jewel, you get about 700 volts out of it, so, and about 30 amps, so it's pretty deadly voltage to get out of this, so be very careful with it. It can kill you. So yeah, oh yeah, I also got this little vintage Philco, early 70s TV chassis, made by a company called, um, what is it, Sailor, S-A-L-O-R-A, S -A -L -O -R -A. yeah, it's a company that bought the TV for Philco, which is, yeah, Nokia, it's got all Nokia capacitors in it and stuff, and G Caddy brand capacitors, and a Sprague, it's a pretty good brand too, it's been repaired, but... I could obviously see what this TV would have failed because this type of circuit board looks like it must have got bloody hot. We've burnt a tracer out there. Yeah, that circuit board's all broken down. That's got really hot and falling apart. Yeah, this TV must have um, ran very, very hot and everything's just, the heat's just wrecked everything. Everything's just all brittle. Now I've got to find a good way to drive this flyback. And they've got this big multiplier. Pretty sure it's a multiplier anyway, it goes in, comes out, goes in there, and comes with these little diodes or some sort of multiplier, then goes at a tube. So that's a voltage multiplier, I'm pretty sure. And that's obviously the neck board, which is different to the normal pins on the back of that. This just slides under the tube neck. 
slides under instead of using pins. So yeah, the old type. There's a little transformer there, big resistor. So yeah, this fly back would be good to drive because these ones here, AC, can do all sorts of cool things like that, like make plasma bulbs out of it. So yeah. This is just being fried. That's removable, that unplugs. Not a Nokia capacitor there. Built in Finland too. Red, green and blue adjustments. RCA transistor, triax or tra uh, transistors. There's another one here. Another RCA. A good Texas Instruments old type steel. Um, what type diode is it? It's on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, one of these old diodes. There's a blue RCA transistor. That capacitor's been replaced. Big resistors. 4R75% tolerance, 17 watt resistor. The bigger the wattage, the bigger the resistor itself. That one is obviously a. doesn't say. UTM brand. But yeah. Very old TV. And it's obviously colour too. Focus adjustments, red, green, and blue adjustments, which you don't touch in your normal TV. Being repaired. Not a copper in this one. It's all corroded and got really hot and burnt that away. Yeah, I can see why this TV didn't last too long. The heat broke it down real quick. It's the only drawback to these types, the heat breaks them down. So yeah, next project is finding a way and getting the parts in there. Try and get this flyback going. That'd be very interesting. So yeah, thanks for watching.